Um, I would, I'm going to start out my introduction today by, by stating something about, ra about causing life to throw th flow through a dead body, which basically is if God raised, which he has a few times in history, raised a dead man to life, just a regular man that was dead and raised him up to life, it really is not something very difficult for God to do. God can heal the body. While it's spectacular by many means and as well as rare, it wouldn't be something that took as much of effort on God's part to do. As Jesus demonstrated many times, the natural order is in complete subjection to the will and command of God, and our natural bodies are part of that order. The reason I start this way is because emphatic and a heavenly not easy in a heavenly sense, sense or simple, so to speak, for God to raise Jesus from the dead because Jesus' death was unlike any other, so his resurrection would be unlike any others. Mm -hmm. First of all, Jesus was the only being in the history of the world who truly owned his life. Yeah. In John 1 4 it says, In him was life, and that light was the and that life was the light of men. Everyone else in the history had their life given to them by God. Not Jesus. He was God, and therefore the life giver, and you can't give something away you don't own. Also, Jesus' life was sinless and perfect. Death had no natural dominion over him because he was undefiled. If he was ever going to die, he would have to give up his life. In John 10, 17 through 18, it says, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it up again. No man taketh it from me. Because of Jesus' sinfulness, he could take upon his flesh the sins of the entire world and bear the blow of God's wrath toward it. Mm -hmm. When it was all, sorry, along with this, he had to experience the fundamental consequence of sin, which is death. When it was all finished, he had to die. He had to taste death for every man. And it is very good for us to think about what an experience this must have been for Jesus, our Lord, to be the owner of life and then have to die. But now I can get to the point. For God to save us, he had to save us fully, which would be spirit, soul, and body. Our spirits are eternal by nature, but our bodies are not. They will eventually die and turn to dust. How would God remedy this, considering that our bodies, as they now are, would never be able to enter into the presence of God, and that a body is not something incidental or trivial, but vital. In 2 Corinthians 5, 4, it says, For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not that we will be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. But here is how God would remedy the situation. Jesus would conquer death. For three days, Jesus' body was dead. His spirit was not on earth. His earthly body was torn and tattered beyond recognition. In that body, he had borne all the sins of the world, and now it was dead. How would God reconcile this? As I said earlier, it would not have been difficult for God just to cause regular, ordinary life to start flowing again through that body because his, again, cause, and cause his spirit to dwell in it, and perhaps even healing all of the physical damages. But what would this accomplish? No, Jesus had to be raised completely incorruptible. His body had to be glorified and perfect in the most holy sense. Jesus indeed had to become victorious over the grave in the sense that not just his mortal body would live just a bit longer. As you know, everyone else in scripture that was raised again died again. But Jesus had to live forevermore without death having any claim to him whatsoever. This is evidence through the fact that Jesus was seen in the, as far as we could tell, the disciples could tell, in the flesh, ascending up into heaven, where heaven received him. It was an evidence that he had done what he had came to do and done it fully. So through the power of the Spirit of God, Jesus indeed rose from the dead and therefore gained victory over the power of death. Because of this, we who follow in him through faith have the earnest of this, that when he comes again, we too shall be raised incorruptible. Ultimate victory over the power of sin and death this is the power of his resurrection.